Okay, so uh, what what was the world like back uh, those millions of years ago when carbon dioxide was as high as it's going to be soon? Well, it was a it was a very different world. In fact, uh, now what we can do is use geochemical uh, tracers, but we can also use uh, the fossil record, uh, the geologic record, that to use that information to create a picture of what the world was like, say, 50 million years ago. And we know uh, from all of that information, you put it all together, we know that uh, the high latitudes in particular were much warmer uh, than they are uh, today. They were uh, 20 degrees Celsius warmer than they are today, which is you know, a significant uh, uh, change in the climate system. We know that uh, there were there are fossils of crocodiles at you know the 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 uh, region of the Arctic Circle, and pollen from palm trees. So um, this was a world where you know northern the northern latitudes were more uh, uh, tropical in their uh, climate than anything that we've known for the last you know thirty million years or so, and. Uh, there were there was a tremendous number of uh, forests uh, that had migrated to those high latitudes. So the the vegetation, the um, the animal life, uh, the the rainfall rates were much higher. There, there's more and more evidence suggesting that uh, there were more intense storms during these warm climate periods, causing uh, intense flooding uh, in regions. Uh, and that's very interesting information because you know that's that's what models are projecting will happen as we move into the future and indeed um, uh, we're seeing those sorts of uh, things happening right now you know in terms of an increased intensity of of uh, precipitation and, and flooding what is the more what is the evidence for more intense storms during that period it comes from looking at uh, how things are uh, essentially flushed into rivers and then how those rivers deposit debris out into the ocean. And by looking at essentially uh, old uh, fluvial flows into the ocean and how the silt builds up and, or doesn't build up, uh, this grain size of material that's being washed out into the oceans, uh, you can infer uh, the intensity and strength or strength of, of river flow uh, into the, uh, the ocean regions.